Hi, um, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm making cornbread dressing. It's um, a southern uh, dish. Uh, my grandmother always made it uh, when she made turkey. Uh, a lot of people call it stuffing. This isn't stuffing, this is dressing. Um, I made, uh, there's a video out there of um, southern cornbread. That is what I use to make my dressing. Um, I'm doing the video in two days. Uh, today is Saturday, tomorrow's Easter. So I'm gonna assemble, we're, we're having Easter dinner at my mom's house. So I'm gonna assemble the cornbread dressing there and uh, cook it there. Um, so we're gonna start with the prep. I do a lot of the prep the night before. Um, so I just wanted to, just to show you what I do and um, what you're gonna need. And it depends on how many people you're gonna feed. We have probably 15 to 20 people that we feed for Easter dinner. So um, I make a lot of cornbread dressing. So I made the, uh, you can watch the video on how to make the Southern cornbread and you're gonna use that. Um, the Pepperidge Farm herb seasoned uh, stuffing mix. I just, re just remember the blue bag. Uh, Normally I make two of these, but we are actually having a few less people this year, so I'm not making quite as much. Plus we're having ham and all sorts of stuff. And chicken broth. Um, I have five boxes of this, which I most likely will not be using at all. Uh, but it's better to have more than not enough. And I also have um, a pot that I'm... I've, roasted a chicken in and the broth that came out of that, I'm going to be using that also. Uh, so to get started, um, I went ahead and I boiled and pilled uh, five eggs and I've got here, let me turn the right burner on, I'm going to turn it on about just a little medium, medium high. I've got five stalks of celery that I cut up and this is one small onion and one medium onion that I cut up. And I just put it in here and saute it. Um, I don't put anything in there just yet. Uh, I'm gonna use regular salt. I usually use sea salt, but I'm gonna use regular salt today. So just put a little bit of salt in there to season it. Um, once it starts cooking, it's gonna sweat out and it'll retain its moisture. Okay, the um, I put the lid on and that'll help steam it also. Just let it go and then when it starts sizzling a little bit, then you'll stir it. Also, what I'm gonna do is I use sausage. I use the Jimmy Dean uh, pork sausage with sage. Um, if you don't have the sage sausage, I've used regular sausage and then added sage to it as I was cooking it. Um, just whatever you prefer, but uh, you do need sage for the, the recipe. Um, so this is a one pound package. And I'm gonna put this on medium high to cook. And so you'll need chicken to go in your uh, dressing, your cornbread dressing. You're going to need the sauteed onion and celery. You're going to need, if you're making a big pot or a big batch like I am, you're going to need uh, anywhere between four to six eggs that are hard boiled. Um, your sausage, your stuffing mix, and your chicken broth. Um, and I've got, and your cornbread. And then I've got my chicken here that I've uh, shredded, and that's gonna go in. But I will uh, assemble that in the morning, so that'll be a second part of the video. Now, this little tool is wonderful. It's for uh, when you're cooking ground meat, browning it, it's by Pampered Chef. I have no idea what it's called. I just know it's wonderful. And it just squishes it down 
and separates it. I love it. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to brown this. I'm going to work on the, letting this sweat out. Um, and when it's done, I'll come back and explain more. Okay, so I want you to look down and this, uh, this tool is just amazing. Uh, this is the sausage cooking and it just breaks it up in small pieces. This is great when you're using um, cooking ground beef for your tacos or sloppy joes. This works wonderful. So I just wanted you to see how this is coming along. And then I'm going to take the lid off of here and you can see all that steam. And this is starting to brown a little bit. And it, that's good. And it actually doesn't have enough steam in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run some water just like that. Just so I don't burn my skillet up. Cover it back up and let it sit for just a little bit. So I just wanted you to see the progress that's going on. Um, and once the sausage is done, you're going to want to drain it because um, you don't want all that grease. And like I said before, I'm going to be uh, taking this over to my mom's house and I'm going to assemble it in the morning. And the reason being, I could assemble it tonight, but all that, the cornbread and the uh, seasoning here, the, the stuffing, um, it's going to soak up all the moisture from the uh, chicken broth. So then you're going to end up having to add more and it just, it doesn't taste as good. So um, I want to show you the chicken that I roasted earlier, this is the uh, broth that I got off of it. So I'll put this in the refrigerator tonight and then in the morning I'll skim that uh, layer of fat off and use that as uh, part of my chicken broth. And all I did for my chicken was uh, salt and pepper it. I salted the, the inside uh, between the skin and the breast meat and then I salted the outside stuck it in the Dutch oven, uh, uh, salted the top layer, and or, or the top of it, and that was it. Put it in the oven, um, and I really don't remember how long. I followed the directions that are on the package for the, the whole chicken. So that's what you just need to do when you have something like that is follow the directions. I'm also gonna be um, putting a turkey on in the morning, and it is, I'm not going to, unless I can get my husband up at 3 o'clock in the morning with me to put the turkey on, I'm not going to uh, do a video on that. But all I did was uh, you get the breast and skin and lift up, you put salt in your hands, rub it um, between the skin and the breast meat, rub the outside, put salt in the cavity, and it, right now it's in the refrigerator in a big bowl. Uh, and of water brining and I'll get up in the morning and throw it in the oven and cook it and then take it to my mom's for so we'll have it for lunch but the sausage sausage is done so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off I'm gonna drain it I'm gonna stir the uh, vegetables that go in here and my uh, eggs that I have I'll show you how to cut uh, cut these up I'm gonna stick them in a uh, in the refrigerator overnight but tomorrow uh, in the video you'll see how to uh, how I just cut them up and it's real easy um, so I'm gonna go ahead let me go ahead and check these while you're still here this is good it's, it doesn't have to be cooked all the way I can actually turn this off and what I'll do is I will um, put all let this cool down. I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put the sausage in a Ziploc bag. Stick them in the fridge overnight, and in the morning we'll assemble it all, and you'll see that in the video. So, good night. See you in the morning. Okay, um, and this is a continuation 
from last night. I got the cornbread that I made. I'm just going to dump it in here. And I'm going to crumble it up. And this is the whole 12 inch loaf. I just crumble it up with my hands. And it doesn't have to be like little bitty crumbs. It'll um, as long as it's not big old chunks, it'll be fine. And it'll break up some more once you're adding everything else to it. Then I've got my seasoning, uh, seasoning stuffing mix. I'm gonna add that. This is the whole chicken that I roasted and pulled apart. This is the sausage with sage that I browned last night. This is the celery and onion that I sauteed. And I don't cut my eggs up until I get ready to put them in there. And I just do Cut it down the middle, one on each side, turn it over, same thing, and just slice down, as long as you don't have big, huge chunks. And I've got five of these to do. And then, as soon as I'm done with this, we'll start adding the broth in. some of this we put some of this in the gravy that we make we boil the giblets from the turkey and before we cook this and today we're cooking this in the crock pots but we add some of the dressing that's already mixed up in the gravy gives it some added texture and thickness okay. So this is my broth from the chicken last night. Okay. Well. Depending on how much cornbread you have and how much um, of the stuffing you have depends on how much broth you use um, and how thick you want it. You don't want it dry because then, then you got to add a ton of gravy on there just to get it down. Okay, with this one, after adding this one, I'm going to go ahead and stir this up just a little bit. Get that cornbread pulled up to the top and get the chicken and egg and vegetables incorporated in there. And it's kind of dry still, so we're going to add another one. And I usually add anywhere between two to four boxes of the chicken broth because we don't like dry stuff like dressing. And if you'll notice it's starting to puddle up, that's a good thing. And just mix it in a little bit as you're pouring it in. And this will probably be enough. Okay. Just mix 
mixes it up really good and this is about the consistency that you want because it's, it will dry out some. So I've got my two crock pots ready to go over here. If you don't put it in a crock pot, it'll take two, two hours or so to cook in the crock pot. This is one of the um, uh, casserole crock pots that I have. I've got two, uh, one's mine and one's my mom's. And it'll take a couple hours to cook in there. Um, if you're cooking it in the oven, it'll take about an hour give or take, um, and you want to put it in like 9 by 13 pan, not a real deep one because it, the deeper it is and the more you put in there, it will uh, take longer to cook and it's just, it's like gummy, it, it doesn't, it, it's not as good to me, the texture. So, got this mixed up, I'm going to add it to my two crock pots here, and I'm just going to pour this in. Reserving some of this because it's going to go in the gravy. So this is what I'm I've got left for the gravy. I'll put the lids on, and in a couple hours it'll be ready. So once it, once it's done, we'll show you a picture of how it turned out. And you want it to be firm. Um, everything in there is already cooked. Uh, you're just getting it to making it firm up by cooking it. So uh, a couple hours when we get back from church, it'll be ready to go. Okay, just wanted to show you that the um, stuffing is ready. And it firmed up quite a bit and it is going to be delicious.